So another day and another cold night. I get my beard straight. Now it looks a little bit better. But they look good for the camera, don't they? <laughs> the frost has struck again and in the little polytunnel behind me. I looked in this morning and it looks like my heirloom Italian heirloom tomato must be a, over a pound in weight. All the leaves on it have just curled up. Also the cucumber which I thought I still might get something out of it. It's gone as well. The leaves are just all droopy just like the way the squash went. Bus going by there. But I think the rentita, the bush watermarkers, I think I could take them inside to the house and put them inside and uh, still get some harvest off them. And the gourmande oxheart tomato, I have to pick all those off. And the puras, I'll have to pick them off, they're too big to take into the house. So let's go in and look at the damage that the frost has done to my vegetables inside the small polytunnel. Okay, starting at this side, see how lovely the sunlight is coming in. These are the leaves, just all floppy of my cucumber. Frost has got to them, they're just all drooping like that. I think I had still some little cucumbers on there, but I'm certainly not going to get anything now. I'm just next to it. This is my ox heart tomato. But, uh, it's got a little blush on it. And the leaves may be okay on it, but uh, this one here is the orange queen, and you can feel that they've just gone all horrid and floppy, dying off. But there's a few tomatoes still on it. I took some of them in, but. Uh, I'm not going to water them anymore, I'm just going to let them go from now on. But here, you can see, this is the Rentita. And it's a small sort of dwarf tomato. That's a suggestive one there. And the leaves on it, I think they're still a bit okay. I could take this in the house and uh, I think it would revive. This one here is uh, one that I got from Australia. It's a yellow tomato. I could take that one in as well. No, oh, well, perhaps the, the leaves have gone in it as well. And this big beauty down here. Look at the size of that. It's enormous. It's this Italian heirloom. And I expect I'll have to cut that off and take it in because it's certainly not going to do anything. You can see the leaves are just flopped over on it as well. But I can't take these plants in because they're, they're just too big. And that's another rentita over here. With the tomatoes growing up. I think I could lift that one in and take it in. See if we can get something. And way down in here is the <laughs> square tomato. 
I didn't think I had any, but I do. I think there's one. Here it is. There it is. Can you see that? No, you can't. There it is. A square tomato. It's not very square. The interesting thing was that when I looked, look at that. The plant where it's been touching that shell has reached out lots of roots. So I suppose that's the natural sort of habit of uh, tomato plants. If the stem touches the ground, then it'll put out little roots. And that's what it's been doing there. So that's the situation from the greenhouse. And I'm disappointed that that, that big Italian heirloom tomato didn't turn red. But it's a magnificent monster. A lovely jubbly. Anyway, that's it. Over and out. Okay, just a little extra bit here. I've packed all the leaves off the Rentita bush tomatoes. And this is what they're looking like now. Still quite a lot of tomatoes on them. And I'll take them into the house and see if they ripen up there. Give them two weeks and if they don't then I'll just throw them out. It's better to get vine tomatoes than ripening them in a plastic bag. Naughty little tomato! There we have my Italian heirloom tomato. Here we have some scales. Let's put that on. Hello! I'll see if we can put a pound or half a kilo or something like that. Let's see. Ah. 519 grams. 